So I've been really excited for this one. I have got the tiny bubble time collection. These are beautiful, bright spring summery colors. And I've been really excited to get to this one for swatching. It comes in a really nice packaged box. Just adorable. And it looks like it's got seven probably cream color syrup colors and then three glitters. Then inside the packaging we have got our color card. We're putting our samples on. We've got this adorable little paper doll set. Oh, two sides of a paper doll set. Just for adorable promo material if you like that kind of thing. And then we have got seven gels. Now one of them did have a leak, so I'll get these out and organized. And here they are. We've got our three glitters. And we have got our beautiful muted pastel spring tones and our swatches. So let's see how these babies are going to turn out. I will start with the colors. For these pastel colors, our numbers are 78 through to 84. They are labeled as DYY. I think that's because the, they are the ylang ylang. These ones, on the other hand, are labeled as gem. So these are gem 79 through 81. And as always, I do two coats on all of my swatches. I am hoping to see if this brand is worth the hype. It is one of the more expensive Korean brands that I've come across. So I'm hoping that there's a good reason for it and that they're well worth the extra fee. Because the quality is just that good. The color on these are really soft and beautiful. And like standard for tiny bottles, they are a 10 mil, 10 mil bottle. So that's a decent size for Korean brands. Here in Canada though, the bottles I think are around 30 something dollars a piece, which is on the pricey side for us. But they do create that beautiful, flawless syrup color which is gorgeous.
here they are all swatched. They are just beautiful. Very pastel-y. Very pretty for those kind of Easter pastels that you might like. Beautiful spring. They went on so smooth and creamy. They were really, really nice to swatch. They self-leveled beautifully. There's no patchiness or anything. I've done them all as usual with a matte and a gloss coat. These ones, because they seem to be iridescent glitters for like a topper, although they don't say that they're a no white topper, but that's kind of the idea I'm guessing to put them with this set. So I did do a black tip on them so that you can see the difference over clear or white and then over black. And yeah, they look like they would be real pretty over top of any of these colors. Ooh, look at that over the purple. Or sorry, the pink. Oh yeah. Very lovely. So yeah, I'm really impressed with them. I'm really happy with them. I expected to be happy considering, you know, the cost and the quality that they're proposed to be. So I'm quite happy with that. I have one more tiny set to swatch. Can't say for sure whether they are worth the extreme price difference than typical gels, but they are beautiful, most definitely. So very happy with these and excited to do some pretty florals and different things with that syrupy color. So I hope you guys enjoyed the swatch and checking out this beautiful set from Tiny, the Bubble Time Collection. Don't forget, if you're enjoying these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification so that you know when the new ones drop. As always, until next time, guys, don't forget to love your nails. Bye.